Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I'm in Coral Gables, Florida, which is right near Miami. I am at the Venetian Pool. Ah, if you like pools, you're going to love this one. Stay with us. So this is the entrance of the Venetian Pool. And before I even enter, you can see how beautiful it is. The walkway, the architecture, everything about it is so beautiful to look at. And one of the things you'll notice when you first come in is there's a lot of signs because they hold summer camps and different events for children. Now you gotta walk into that building to actually register. But let's take a minute and look at some of the signs so that if you are in the area and you're from Coral Gables, you might want to be a lifeguard or take advantage of some of these great opportunities. And if you go in the pool, remember there is no diving, so be careful. We will look through the fence a little, take a quick little peek, and then we'll go in the building and we will register. Up here, there is a like a little house, but we did not go up there. I wasn't sure if we were able. Here is where we paid, and it's $22 if you're not from Coral Gables. And there is something up there. We weren't allowed to go up there. Wanted to give you a look. Once you pay, you go through this little room and there's a lot of information on the walls. Everything is beautiful, every single area. Here I am coming in and hello, but look how much I have to look at all the areas and then I am going to take a walk to the pool area. There it is on the left-hand side and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the decor, I love the Italian feel. I'm a little Italian, so I have that in me. Here is an area where you can eat. Now, the day we were there, uh, it was not opened, the area where you would get food. So the restaurant closed was kind of difficult. Oh, look how cool that is. So we uh, also, there was a little food truck. They were not selling food. They were selling chips. And there is a machine inside. And chips are like $5 for a small bag and soda. Uh, I don't know. Soda's probably $5 as well. So I didn't purchase it. There is some lifeguards on duty. So you won't have a problem with that. But if you go to Venetian Pools, nothing's open. You want lunch. You can order DoorDash or Uber or something like that. And they will deliver food there. So let's take a walk to the pool and check it out. Now, chairs, lounge chairs are $7 a person. But if you get there early, you can get a bench and you can sit on the bench and you don't need to get a lounge chair. But otherwise, you need somewhere to put your stuff. So you might need to get a lounge chair. And you can see if you need a life jacket, those are available and those are free. If you prefer to sit on the sand, there is a sandy area that you can sit and you can see from here, you can overlook and you can see the pool if maybe you have kids in the pool. And uh, I have to just show you some beautiful scenery of the pool and the different area because it's just so much fun. That The best part of it is actually looking around and looking at all the architecture and the way that the pool is. The uh, pool itself is just an ordinary pool. The bottom of it has uh, just regular pool cement, not gravel. Uh, if you're going to go into that waterfall, they want you to wear a life jacket. Unless you're a very good swimmer, then you wouldn't have to. But no matter where you go, you're going to enjoy the views. You're going to have some fun. You can play a little around in the water. There are some caves that I will show you that we weren't allowed to go in. So that was very disappointing because I was looking very much forward to going to, into some of the caves. And they were closed. I don't know if the water was too high or if they had issues in there. But they were not open when we were there. And that was very sad. So let's take some more looks at this and then we will go into the water and uh, I'll show you the caves and I'll show you around from there. So here is looking into one of the caves. You can see in certain areas the water is high and you can get your head caught. You wouldn't want to do that. Uh, but most of it you would probably be able to go into and be fine. But they were closed. They had a rope around it. So uh, right there you can see the string and the rope. We did not want to uh, pass that because they didn't want us. Hello. And so we stayed out of them. 
But there's a lot of different areas that you can swim. You don't need to go into the caves. You can find a little spot for yourself wherever you go. Or you can follow the rope. And what we did was follow the rope and head towards the middle of the pool near where the waterfall was to take a better look at that. We're also going to go around and go behind the waterfall and show you what that little walk is all about as well. Here we go, we're gonna walk around and I will show you what the back looks like. The foliage is great to look at as well, so make sure you take a look at that. Many areas are cordoned off because they're slippery when they're wet or the rocks are rough and they don't want anybody to get hurt. So make sure you listen to the rules and don't try to go past the areas that they tell you not to do. Here are some beautiful views of the waterfall. Now you can see we're heading back to the main pool area. There are a lot of great spots that you can stop and take a selfie. Let's take a minute to look at some of the interesting architecture of this great pool. Well, this is Rockin' Robin. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a big thumbs up. We have a lot of videos coming on Miami and the area, so please make sure that you watch them all. I am going to rate the Venetian pool a B+.